Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents with God's Church of Love online. We have Rashad and Lynn. They're going to share their testimonies. And I'm going to let Lynn start first, ladies first. We're going to allow her to share her testimony of spiritual warfare. And then after Lynn, then Rashad, and after Shad, we will have the word of God. God bless you, Lynn. I went to the movies last night, and as I was leaving the structure, uh, I, we were sort of parked waiting for the light to change, and I see a very dark-looking person, you know, almost like they're in a cape or something, mm. and I'm thinking, that's really weird, and it's you know, it's in a park area, and I'm thinking, well, I'm just going to keep my eyes on this and not, you know. And so as we start moving forward, I mean, this really looked like a person. As we start moving forward, and it's dark out, I noticed this person just disintegrated, and all of a sudden, the all I saw will leave. It was really weird. And I was wondering if maybe the veils are starting to... Uh, separate or, you know, they talk about the veils, uh, you know, being taken off our eyes. Anyhow, so I go home and um, really have no idea if that had anything to do with what happened later. But I'm always telling my husband that there's chemtrails uh, out there. He never believes a word of anything I tell him. And I, I was telling him that, you know, sometimes God closes your eyes and you can't see things and this, that, and the other. Well, anyhow, it's midnight and, you know, he always religiously, religiously, religiously will want to go to bed by midnight. He doesn't want, you know, unless we're in the middle of a, a half hour show, sometimes he'll make an exception. But to sit there and talk after midnight, no way. <laughs> so it was midnight ready to go to bed and he starts a conversation almost ah. like an argument an argument and we don't argue very rarely do we argue we will debate a little here and there but this one was lasting an hour here we're at one o'clock what is happening wow what is happening he doesn't do this right He's not interested enough to to keep this going and this and i'm wondering well, is God giving them interest that I, his eyes are going to be opened, or is this the enemy? What What is this? Right. I'm thinking to myself. I go to sleep. Okay, we finally finish. I go to sleep. At 4 o'clock, I wake up with a tremendous pounding headache. Oh, my Horrible. goodness. Horrible headache. And so I go to the bathroom, and I start praying. And I'm praying, you know. I know you did. In the name of Jesus, I, you know, I bind uh, every spirit of headaches and migraines, and I break up and cancel their spell and and uh, throw them to the pits of hell. Nothing's happening. I'm doing this four, five, six, seven times. Nothing's happening as my head's pounding, pounding, pounding. And then I thought, uh, what's the root of the problem? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, argument there was an argument i says i bind argument and i i cancel it, its uh, authority and i throw it to the pits of hell and my headache stopped just like that look at that I mean, just like i've never had a headache other than the one other time when i was trying to cast out the uh, lust of someone Never have I had a headache that just stopped out of, you know, my yeah. headaches last for hours and hours and it stopped on a dime, not, nothing. It was, I went to sleep, I couldn't believe it. Anyhow, as soon as I used the word argument, that's all it says. Yep. So, anyhow, that's my testimony and I, I asked my husband this morning, I said, well, what was with you being up? He says, I don't know. He says, I don't know. <laughs> he says, do, that was really weird. do you know what that sounds like to me? That cloak, that, that man in the dark cloak that you saw? Uh -huh. Personally, as soon as you said it, the first thing I thought was either someone 
uh, involved in the occult trying to spread curses over the region or or loosing demons over the region or it was a demon it was a demon in human form and he was cloaked in the darkness and he was there to send out uh, assigned attacks you know almost like a uh, an artillery guy standing on the right. sidelines sending out orders say you go here you you go to the left you you run mm -hmm. up the hill you attack with this you wait and you d i want you to be the uh marksman or whatever and he's sending out orders and assignments that's what sounds that's like, like that's what that sounds like right. to me you were dealing right. with a demonic force that was there attacking whosoever will he could and that whatever assignment followed you guys home and and got your husband revved up he didn't yep. even know he admitted he didn't even know why he didn't have a clue because he never said that he was very confused but you know that was the enemy you know using you to fight right to, to open to open up a hole in me so that they could attach in some form and in, in my case it's a headache right right now see that's what i believe is going to happen in these last days we're going to see a lot more of that and that's why we have to have our spiritual eyes uh focused and our ears peeled we have to constantly pray for more and more higher and higher levels of discernment because the more you discern the more you see you see in the natural you see in the spirit realm even when you see it in the natural your spirit discerns what's behind the natural that you're seeing when you see in the spirit realm there are times you will see a demon that you will see and not see at the same time just like the demon of suicide that i saw that tried to attack my sister at 5 30 in the morning and when i saw the demon she heard the voice at 5 30 when I saw the demon in my house at 5.30 a.m., we both saw, we both had an encounter at the same time. Hers told her it was the same demon, but when it left my house, it was telling her to kill herself. And I was rebuking and rebuking. So anyway, I just want to share that we have to be very, very in tune spiritually against the demonic because there will be things we see and we can't ignore it. When we see something that doesn't look right, bind it right there. Shut down its activity. Something about that doesn't look right, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over that spirit. Whatever that person or that demon is trying to do, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Soon as you see it. Yeah, that's a good way to deal with that.